I want to share with you a real interesting article that I came across just the other day. In brief, a team of researchers are having a look at the different kinds of balance disorders that people can experience. And they were looking in particular at Meniere's disease, BPPB, or benign positional proxismal vertigo, and also what's called cervicogenic dizziness. In other words, dizziness or vertigo that's due to a disruption of something going on in the neck. And what they found was that they found that basically between 70 and 80% of people who had been diagnosed with Meniere's or BPPV were also experiencing symptoms associated with a neck problem. That is neck pain, shoulder pain, headaches, even migraine. So what the researchers conclude is that Meniere's disease, BPPV, and cervicogenic dizziness may actually be the exact same disorder, but along a continuum, ranging from the certainly disruptive irritable to the full-blown vertigo attack. And in fact, this is consistent with something I've been saying in particular about BPPV for a really, really long time. In brief, the hypothesis is that the BPPV is coming about because there's a dislodgement of the crystals on the inner ear. And I'm not arguing against the location and the significance of the crystals of the inner ear, but you can't see them on MRI. So how do we know that they are actually dislodged? Now, 50% of people who are diagnosed with BPPV, what do they do? They either go to their GP, they go to see a physiotherapist, then they do what's called the Epley Maneuver. And the Epley Maneuver is where you're gonna be leaning the head backwards and sitting kind of angles. The idea is that it's repositioning the crystals of the inner ear. But I've always called that into question. See, what I see is somebody who, by leaning the head backwards, is actually reducing and taking the pressure off of the joints in their neck. And that very well may be why 50% of people who do the Epley maneuver, when they're diagnosed with BPPV, get really, really good results. But unfortunately, there's another 50% who don't. In other words, it seems to be working, but maybe not for the reason that we think. And so if that is the case, and if you've been experiencing Meniere's syndrome, if you've been experiencing BPPV, well, by all means, it's very important that you have the proper MRI tests. Make sure you're not dealing with an issue of the inner ear. And by all means, also trial the Epley maneuver on your own to see, is that going to be able to fix it just like that? But who I'm speaking to, I'm speaking to the 50% of the people who you've been diagnosed with Meniere's, you've been diagnosed with BPPV, You've done all of the things, including Epley Maneuver. You've had all of the brain scans. They all say that nothing is wrong, and yet you're still experiencing all of the problems. What I would be proposing is that there could very well be an unresolved issue in your neck that just won't quite let go on its own. And as a consequence of that, you're still experiencing the problems, and it's going to take just that little bit more in order to get on top of things. So if that is the case, let me ask you this question. When's the last time that somebody has had a proper and precise look to see what may be going on with the alignment in the joints of your neck? Because, at least based on what these researchers are finding, that very may well be one of the missing pieces so that if you are experiencing many years, if you are experiencing BPPV, you can actually get the positive change to where these vertigo dizziness issues can start to heal so that you can ultimately get back your better quality of life. So what's the next thing that you should do? Well, what I would recommend is that you do a little bit of your own research. And what we've done on our own website, which is atlashealth.com.au, is put together a series of articles, also a series of videos like this, to give you as much information as we possibly can about what the relationship is between the joints in the upper part of your neck, how they can affect your nerve system, and how then that can be related to conditions such as Meniere's and also BPPV, but then most importantly, offering a different, a natural kind of solution that very well may be able to help you out there. So go over to atlashealth.com.au where you'll be able to find all of the information and hopefully then from there be able to find that there is another option for you so that you can ultimately get back to enjoying the quality of life that you really desire. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time.
For more information about upper cervical care, please call us on 31 9329 or visit us at atlashealth.com.au.